The topic of this video presentation is about closing your Singapore company. What options do you have? So the first question is why you may want to close the company. So what happens is many times the business plans of the entrepreneurs may not materialize as he has thought. Or maybe the company is not going as per the plans or it is not active or the priorities of the entrepreneur might have changed. And in summary, he does not want to really incur additional cost on this company. So in that circumstances, he will like to close the company. And when it comes to closing the company, there are primarily two options when it comes to Singapore entities. The first option is to strike off the company. And this option can be exercised only when the company is solvent. What that means is that company is able to pay all its debts and there is nothing outstanding on company's liabilities front. In that case, this option can be exercised. If the company is insolvent, in the sense it has liabilities which cannot be paid off, then in that case there is a second option which is winding up. So winding up is an option where an external liquidator will be appointed to administer the matters of the company and that external liquidator will work out which creditors get how much payment. So he will take the limited assets and where the debts of the company are more than that amount of assets, he will have to proportionately distribute it. So these are the primary two options when it comes to Singapore entity. And let's also have a look on few differences between these two. So as I said, strike off is possible when the company is solvent. And because the company is solvent, this process tends to be simpler. Uh, the time taken for this process is five months. So even if it is a simpler, it's a five months timeline because Accra needs to uh, publish the details of your company in official gazette two times. And this option also has less cost. When it comes to winding up, it tends to become complex because the external liquidator needs to be appointed. He needs to prepare the accounts. He needs to work out the proportionate payment to each of the creditor. And obviously this whole process is going to take more time. And as a result, the timeline required for winding up can be longer. Also because some external parties needs to be appointed, the cost on this front can be high. So just to highlight the difference, when the company is solvent, you are approaching to the Accra authority and you are telling them, look, my company is solvent, I don't have any external debts and I'm not answerable for anything else. All my registrations have been cancelled and I have disposed of all the assets. So let me close this company in a simpler manner. That is what in principle the strike of ETH. And when that option is not there, you have to compulsorily go for winding up. So in practice, wherever possible companies go for strike off because it is a simpler process takes five months, but that is still lesser than what you would otherwise take in winding up. And it is a less costly option also. So in subsequent videos in this playlist, I'm going to explain each of this option in greater detail. So please watch out those. For this presentation, in summary, Singapore company, there are two options of closure. One is strike off or winding up. Where possible, companies prefer strike off option because of the simplicity and less cost involved. Thank you for watching this video. This video was brought to you by Epica Consulting Singapore. Subscribe to our channel today to get notified when new videos are posted.